Hey everyone, consider the previous video we were talking about ratio, where we said that, well, if there's a line, let's say in this case BC, and if we have, let's say, a point D, and let's continue on by saying that, let's say, the ratio between BD and DC is, for example, 2 is to 3, and if we were to have the vector BD, or rather BC, then we know that, well, vector BD is basically 2 over 5 of vector BC and likewise vector DC would be 3 over 5 of vector BC. And we can therefore then find vector AD by adding AB and AC. Alright, let's see if that's the question we want us to find. But that's only if we were given BC, right? We can find vector BD if we are given vector BC. Is there another way for us to find, let's say, vector BD or vector AD without actually needing to find vector BC? And there is, and that is where the ratio theorem comes into play. And my advice is, you should know this theorem by heart after learning it. It's quite easy to remember and I'll guide you how. So let's rewind and we shall start from the top. So once again, point D, 2 is to 3. And let's say now we have vector AB and vector AC instead, where vector AB is vector B and vector AC is vector C. And again, B to D. 2d is to d to c is 2 is to 3. And there is actually a way to find vector ad. Alright, one way is the old way where we find vector bd and then we take ab plus bd to give us vector ad or we take vector ac plus vector cd. Alright, or minus or ac minus vector dc. All right, because plus CD equals to minus vector DC. A simpler way is the idea of using the ratio theorem. And it's quite intuitive. AD, vector AD, is simply vector B times the opposite number. So we have 3 of vector B plus vector C times 2. So 2 of vector C over 2 plus 3. And we automatically get the answer 2 over 5B vector B and 2 over 5 of vector C. And you can actually verify this with the answers here. All right, we know that vector BC is simply C minus B. So we have 2 fifths of C minus B. plus vector AB, which is B, and you get back the same answer. Likewise for vector AC plus vector CD. Now, why does this work? All right. Other than the fact that you can actually prove it by letting this be 1 and 1 minus lambda, or whatsoever, you notice that if you look at it intuitively, if let's say you had the point B, it's made from the vector A, right? The reference, common reference point is A, Points B and C are actually based on the common reference point. And we know that if vector D is two units closer to B, that means this vector B would be multiplied by the opposite number. All right, because it's closer to vector, because this D is closer to point B than it is to point C, you want a vector that goes towards, you want more of the vector that goes towards point B compared to point C and hence the idea of opposites, all right? It actually comes in a similar vein as your coordinate geometry, all right? Let's say your coordinates are 4, 1, and let's say here is, let's put some random numbers. Actually, I shouldn't use vector, uh, 4, 1, and let's say this is, let's say, uh, 1, minus 3. And let's say you have this point A and this device 2 is 3. What you do is opposite as well, all right? Because it's the same logic. All right, point A is closer to point, 
let's say this is O and this is B is closer to point, I shouldn't use the word point O, I should let's say this is uh, B and C, point A closer to point B, therefore, we will need this particular point to multiply more of the opposite number, because you want it to be more. And it is always commonly referred to in quantum geometry is to the origin, and it's the same idea right here. All right, so this is the ratio theorem where we have the general formula is that let's say if we have a triangle, let me try to draw a triangle freehand. Let's say this is a common point for ease of reference, let's say O, and this vector is A, this vector is B, and let's say this point here is C. If we have lambda and mu, which are real numbers, OC is simply mu A plus lambda of vector B over mu plus lambda, all right? Opposite plus opposite, and then common knowledge is divide by the sum of the units, aka sum of the ratio, all right? So this is the ratio theorem with this formula, keyword opposite.